The hidden risks of breath control and deep breathing techniques. What gurus don't tell you. Chapter 1. Introduction to breath control and deep breathing techniques. Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a crucial topic that's gained immense popularity in wellness and yoga circles. Breath control and deep breathing techniques. These practices promise a range of benefits, from enhanced relaxation to improved mental clarity. But how much do we really know about the potential risks associated with them? Breath control and deep breathing techniques are often celebrated for their ability to reduce stress, enhance focus, and even boost physical health. These practices are central to various forms of yoga and meditation, often recommended by instructors and wellness gurus alike. However, as with any wellness trend, it's important to approach these techniques with a well-rounded perspective. In this video, we aim to shed light on the lesser-known physiological pitfalls and negative effects that can arise from improper or excessive practice of breath control and deep breathing techniques. While many practitioners experience positive outcomes, a significant number might face unintended consequences if they follow misleading advice or overdo these practices. We'll explore how these techniques can affect your respiratory system, cardiovascular health, and overall well-being, especially when not performed correctly or when practiced obsessively. Our goal is to provide you with a balanced view based on extensive research and expert opinions so you can make informed decisions about incorporating these practices into your routine. Stay tuned as we uncover the hidden risks and offer practical tips for safe and effective breath control and deep breathing practices. Remember, knowledge is power, and being aware of potential pitfalls will help you maintain a healthy and balanced approach to your wellness journey. Chapter 2. Physiological Pitfalls of Breath Control Practices when it comes to breath control and deep breathing techniques, the focus is often on the positive aspects, like enhanced relaxation and stress relief. However, it's essential to understand the physiological pitfalls that can arise from these practices if not approached correctly. One significant risk is overbreathing, also known as hyperventilation. Many breathing techniques encourage deep, rapid breaths, which can disrupt your body's natural balance of oxygen and carbon dioxide. When you hyperventilate, you expel too much carbon dioxide from your blood, leading to symptoms like dizziness, lightheadedness, and headaches. This imbalance can also lead to anxiety and an increased heart rate, making your stress worse rather than better. Another concern is the disruption of respiratory function. Our bodies have a natural rhythm for breathing that supports optimal lung function and gas exchange. Overemphasis on controlled breathing techniques can interfere with this natural rhythm, potentially causing chronic respiratory issues. For instance, consistently practicing deep breathing exercises might lead to a condition known as breath holding syndrome, where you involuntarily hold your breath or breathe irregularly, impacting lung capacity and efficiency. A related issue is the imbalance of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood. Proper breath control aims to balance these gases, but excessive or incorrect practices can disturb this balance. Low levels of carbon dioxide can lead to respiratory alkalosis, a condition where the blood becomes too alkaline. Symptoms include muscle twitching, nausea, and confusion, which can negatively impact your overall health. It's also crucial to recognize that these issues are not just theoretical. They have been observed in people who engage in intense or prolonged breath control practices, while the intention behind these techniques is often to promote well-being, it's vital to approach them with caution and awareness. To mitigate these risks, it's essential to practice breath control techniques under the guidance of a qualified instructor, and to listen to your body's signals. Understanding these potential pitfalls will help you use these practices safely and effectively, ensuring you reap their benefits without compromising your health. 
Stay tuned as we continue to explore the long-term negative effects of breath control practices and how you can avoid common pitfalls. Chapter 3. Long-Term Negative Effects of Over-Practicing Yoga Breathing Techniques While yoga breathing techniques are widely praised for their immediate benefits, including stress reduction and mental clarity, it's important to consider the long-term effects of excessive practice. Over time, these practices can lead to several negative outcomes that might not be immediately apparent. One of the primary concerns is musculoskeletal problems. Yoga often involves holding various postures while focusing on breath control. Extended practice without proper alignment or rest can strain muscles and joints, leading to discomfort or injury. For instance, excessive emphasis on deep breathing while in a strenuous pose can exacerbate muscle tension and contribute to chronic pain or imbalances. Another potential issue is the psychological impact of obsessive breathing practices. While deep breathing is intended to promote relaxation, an overemphasis on these techniques can sometimes lead to increased anxiety or stress. This can happen if individuals become overly focused on perfecting their breathing patterns, which may turn into a form of psychological pressure or control. This misplaced focus can counteract the intended benefits and create a sense of frustration or inadequacy. The impact on cardiovascular health is also a concern. Some deep breathing techniques involve prolonged breath holding or rapid inhalations and exhalations, which can influence heart rate and blood pressure. Over time, these practices can potentially strain the cardiovascular system, especially if not balanced with other forms of exercise. People with pre-existing heart conditions should be particularly cautious, as these practices might exacerbate their issues. Furthermore, imbalanced practices can disrupt your body's natural stress response systems. While some breathing techniques aim to calm the nervous system, improper use can lead to heightened stress responses. For instance, consistently practicing high-intensity breath exercises without adequate recovery can cause chronic stress and fatigue, undermining your overall well-being. To avoid these long-term negative effects, it is crucial to adopt a balanced approach to yoga breathing techniques. End corporate rest days, vary your practice, and seek guidance from experienced instructors to ensure that your practice supports, rather than hinders, your health. In the next chapter, we'll delve into why misguided practices persist and how to navigate the wellness landscape to avoid falling victim to misleading claims. Stay with us as we continue to explore ways to practice safely and effectively. Chapter 4. The Guru Effect – Why Misguided Practices Persist In the world of yoga and wellness, the influence of gurus and self-proclaimed experts can sometimes lead practitioners astray. Despite the potential risks associated with breath control and deep breathing techniques, these practices often persist, fueled by the authority of influential figures and the lack of standardized regulations. Here's why misguided practices continue to thrive. 1. Lack of regulation and standards Unlike medical or fitness professions, yoga and wellness industries often lack rigorous standards and regulations. This absence allows anyone to teach and promote practices without proper credentials or evidence-based knowledge. Consequently, misinformation can spread easily leading individuals to adopt potentially harmful techniques without adequate guidance. 2. Commercialization and misleading claims The commercialization of wellness practices has led to a market where exaggerated claims about the benefits of breath control and deep breathing are common. Many gurus and instructors promote these techniques as miracle solutions for a wide range of issues, from mental health to physical fitness. These claims often lack scientific backing and can mislead practitioners into believing that more intense or frequent practices are always better. 3. Peer pressure and unquestioned authority Within the yoga community, 
There is often significant peer pressure to conform to popular practices and follow well-known instructors. This environment can discourage individuals from questioning the safety or validity of techniques. The authority of a respected guru or instructor can sometimes overshadow the need for critical thinking, leading practitioners to follow potentially harmful advice without scrutiny. 4. The appeal of quick fixes, the desire for quick and easy solutions to complex problems makes people susceptible to the promises of breath control techniques. Gurus often capitalize on this appeal by presenting their methods as simple, effective ways to achieve significant improvements in health and well-being. This marketing strategy can lead individuals to overlook the potential risks and ignore the need for a balanced, informed approach. 5. The challenge of self-regulation, even among well-intentioned practitioners, self-regulation can be challenging. Enthusiasts may push themselves too hard, driven by the belief that more practice will yield greater benefits. Without proper oversight and feedback, this can lead to overuse and negative health effects. To navigate these challenges, it's crucial to seek out qualified instructors who adhere to recognized standards and practice, critical thinking, when evaluating wellness advice, research and consult reputable sources before committing to any new technique or practice. In the final chapter, we will explore how to practice breath control and deep breathing techniques safely and effectively, ensuring you can enjoy their benefits without compromising your health. Stay tuned for practical tips and recommendations. Chapter 5. How to Practice Safe Breath Control and Yoga Techniques Practicing breath control and yoga techniques can offer significant benefits, but it's crucial to approach them with mindfulness and care to avoid potential pitfalls. Here are some key strategies to ensure that your practice remains safe and effective. 1. Seek qualified guidance. Always choose a certified instructor who has received proper training and adheres to established standards. A qualified teacher will not only provide accurate instructions but also tailor practices to your individual needs and limitations. Look for instructors with credentials from recognized yoga organizations and positive reviews from students. 2. Listen to your body. Pay close attention to how your body responds to different techniques. If you experience any discomfort, dizziness, or other adverse effects, it's essential to adjust your practice or seek professional advice. Breath control and deep breathing should enhance your well-being, not detract from it. Avoid pushing yourself beyond your comfort zone and respect your body's signals. 3. Practice balance and moderation. Incorporate a variety of exercises into your routine to avoid overemphasis on any single technique. Balance breath control practices with other forms of physical activity and relaxation methods. This approach will help prevent the strain on any one system of your body and ensure a more holistic approach to wellness. 4. Focus on proper technique. Ensure that you are using correct techniques for breath control and deep breathing. Misguided practices can lead to ineffective results or even harm. Educate yourself on proper techniques through reliable resources and, if possible, have an experienced instructor review your practice to ensure you're following best practices. 5. Consult healthcare professionals. If you have any pre-existing health conditions or concerns, it's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional before beginning or significantly altering your breathing practice. They can provide personalized advice and ensure that the techniques you choose are safe for your specific health profile. 6. Incorporate rest and recovery. Just as with any physical practice, rest and recovery are crucial. Allow adequate time for your body to recover between sessions to avoid overuse injuries or stress. Integrate relaxation practices that complement your breathing techniques and support overall well-being. By following these guidelines, you can enjoy the benefits of breath control and deep breathing techniques while minimizing potential risks. 
Remember, a mindful and balanced approach is key to maintaining both safety and effectiveness in your wellness practices. In conclusion, it's vital to stay informed and practice with awareness to fully benefit from these techniques without encountering negative effects. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of breath control practices. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights and tips on maintaining a healthy and balanced lifestyle. Conclusion, in summary, while breath control and deep breathing techniques can offer valuable benefits, understanding and addressing the potential risks is crucial. By recognizing the physiological pitfalls, the influence of misleading practices, and the importance of proper guidance, you can enjoy these practices safely and effectively. Remember to seek qualified instruction, listen to your body, and practice balance and moderation. Always consult healthcare professionals if you have any health concerns. We hope this video has provided you with valuable insights to enhance your wellness journey. For more balanced and informative content, make sure to subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next video.